Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel and to another video. So today we are going with the note series that's on my channel for a while now and today we are going to focus on amber because you know amber is such a beautiful note to me I love when fragrance has a big dose of amber even though it sometimes can lean slight masculine I still love it. I don't mind unisex fragrances. However, I try to include very feminine ones in here as well as um, those more unisex leaning as well. I think you're gonna love them all. Some are completely not popular or hyped up. So I think you can find some gems here with me today. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Of course, before subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram and now we can move on so with amber is usually you know it's not like one note usually amber is a combination of many notes I don't even know which ones but surely some benzoin um, and I think even patchouli um, and Oponax, if I'm not mistaken, they basically mix something and vanilla for sure vanilla. They mix mix many notes to create the typical amber note that you smell so i'm gonna start with the ones that i do not have with me and these are actually slightly more unisex leaning but they're gorgeous gorgeous so stay tuned the first one i want to talk about is maison francis courjan grand soir and that is a very hyped up perfume i know and to me this is that type of amber fragrance that it's slightly too masculine for me even though the notes don't really say so i actually thought it would be either completely unisex or even feminine leaning actually it's apparently it's not the case uh, at least on my skin it leans quite masculine but this is a perfect base fragrance as a mixing one because it has not too many notes you can actually mix it with so much to add your perfumes depth to add to your perfume some middle eastern touch because you know amber in general is a very middle eastern note and that fragrance will just add so so much to your favorite fragrance and um, this is that kind of dna that also actually works with so many other scent profiles you can mix it with like la nuit Tresor, you can mix it with normal vanilla fragrances anything you can think of usually might match amber so grand soir to me a little bit too masculine but perfect to mix with other perfumes all right next one that i want to talk about is of course one of my favorites from the dior range i would have had it a long time ago if only i could purchase them in poland unfortunately it's pretty much impossible the dior boutique doesn't deliver online to the to my location and uh, i don't have dior perfume boutique anywhere near me which is a massive bummer but if i will be near such i will surely purchase it and of course i am talking about amber nuit this is beautiful to me it's definitely more feminine than mfk this has rose to it so you know there is that beautiful floral touch it's slightly spicy that amber is beautiful just rounds up the fragrance it is long lasting great projection i love it i wouldn't say it's as great projection as santal noir or oud rosewood but it's still very very good so it's definitely on my wish list um definitely the one that i will pick up first when i go to your boutique along with probably tobacco lore i don't know we'll see but yes amber and we perfect staple if you love amber you have to have this it's beautiful are you ready for the next one because this one just blows me away every time i smell it every time and that is from a brand ajmal and that is amber wood and guys, I am absolutely in love with it. In fact, as we speak, it is in my basket. And as soon as I finish recording, I think I'm going to purchase it because I just cannot live without it. It's so good. Definitely a unisex, but this is a sweet, spicy amber. Very woody, as the name suggests. It has green apple to it. So think of the most sexy guys fragrances on the planet that is amber wood 
it's so sexy that you want to wear it yourself and it's sweet enough that you can wear it yourself and still feel feminine it has this beautiful deep ambery touch and you know Ajmal as a brand is a Middle Eastern brand so they really know what they're doing with their woods and their embers such a beautiful combination I love it um, guys if you can smell it just do just please please do and i think it's quite a safe blind buy because you get an enormous projection and longevity ajmal is exquisite on that and the scent profile is so good i just i just cannot this is definitely my favorite from ajmal and i do not talk enough uh, about ajmal on my channel but i think i'm going to start doing this more frequently because i really want to introduce you to the brand because i really love it and surprise surprise i don't even have a full bottle of their fragrances and i don't really know why maybe because i didn't think people would be interested but tell me in the comments below what you think do you know ajmal do you love ajmal because to me amber wood is fantastic some of their fragrances are a little bit too strong for me but this one is just perfect like it's right in the middle between sexy and sweet and masculine and feminine love it so that's another one that is great Another fragrance that I really want to show you is definitely my favorite from that particular range and that is Hermes Lampre de Merveille and uh, this is the typical amber vanilla fragrance, very very Middle Eastern, Oriental so to speak. This has a lot of that um, hammam feel to it in my opinion, like it really does smell like a, like a Middle Eastern spa to me. Like when you go to those hotels, this is how it smells like with, you know, all the oils and all those beautiful scents that they spread around. This to me is Hermes Lampe de Merveille. I'm sure they had inspiration through that, what I'm talking about. Um, this to me has a decent lasting power, uh, around six hours and moderate projection, but I don't think it would be any good if it was stronger, to be completely honest, because this is kind of a strong DNA within itself. So, L'Ombre de Mauvais, fantastic one. Okay, next one we have Mancera Instant Crush, and I really love this scent. Uh, this is a sweet rosy fragrance. I think it has some sugar to it. It has patchouli But it's so beautifully done definitely goes in a Middle Eastern direction So if you love Middle Eastern fragrances, this is like a light version of them uh, Beautiful beautiful amber and the whole scent profile is just fantastic. I personally love this scent two bits even though I said I might not repurchase the full bottle and that is just because um, I have quite a few fragrances that are very similar. Um, but now that I think of it, maybe if I ever run out of the bottle, I might miss it. So who knows? But I'm still very, very full on that, even though I used it so much. And this is a massive compliment getter. You must know that because it has exquisite projection. So people really notice it and people around you really love it the scent profile it's very very likable surprisingly so that is instant crush then we have a beautiful fragrance from Navitus Parfums and I still have an active discount code guys so grab it while you can because you have quite a bit of money off your purchase so use it while you still can and this is definitely one of my biggest recommendations this is Arcanum and this is woody amber coconut fragrance like what more do you want like this is so good like i cannot like i cannot this is so good guys so so good and they have extract of perform concentration so you know they're super duper long lasting and project very well i love this it's slightly but only slightly similar to fragrance du bois Santal Complet, but to me uh, the note combination of Arcanum is way nicer, it's sweeter, to me it's more wearable, you get more of that coconut, but it's also still very woody, and you know that beautiful amber in here is just exquisite. So yes, you cannot really go wrong, especially that they have a very very good price 
for what it is because you get beautiful niche quality, great lasting power and you know you don't pay like $300 for it so that's fantastic. Arcanum I love, that's my that's one of my favorite ambers at the moment. Next we have Kayali Invite Only Amber 23 and I talked about it so much already but I absolutely love it. This is definitely my if I'm, I, I cannot keep saying that, but this is definitely one of my favorite fragrances at the moment. I love this. This is sweet, this is honey, it's boozy. It's everything that I love. It has chocolate and Nutella, you know, like the hazelnut spread. It has so much, like cherry. All of my favorite notes are here, literally. And of course, amber is very, very amped up. Yes, it is unisex, uh, but I think it's very, very sweet. So if you're a girl and you like deeper, sweet fragrances, you're going to be obsessed. It has some wood in it, but don't be scared. It's very much in the background. It only like anchors the fragrance. So that is Kayali Invite Only Amber 23. And I love wearing this every day and I mix it with so many fragrances. You have no idea. Okay. Next we have, of course, I'm going to quickly mention because this is a beautiful amber and that is Olympia Intense. Gorgeous, gorgeous amber. This is definitely very prominent on amber, but it's a very sweet one. Very, very sweet one with slight bit of salt, loads of vanilla. So if you love sweet, sweet fragrances, you're going to adore this. This is definitely one of their best releases from Paco Rabanne, if not the best one. So yeah. Olympia Intense, if you can still get it in this particular bottle, get it because it's exquisite. Okay, next I only have only, it's never only with me, but I have four fragrances left. So the first one is from Zara and that is Amber Fusion. And this is definitely fresher than all of them that I just showed. This one is definitely to me uh, the, the most unisex, you know, it has that zest, that sexy dude zest. I don't know if you know what I mean, but those, you know, sexy fresh guys fragrances have that zest to it that makes you like, kind of even makes your feet burn a little bit because you're like getting in that zone. Like I want to get the guy, you know what I mean? This is it. It's so nice. It's vanilla, it's lily here. I don't know where that particular zest comes from, but I love it. And yes, this is a beautiful amber fragrance for literally pennies comparing to some of the others. And this is very beautiful. Great lasting power too. And you get so much in this bottle and the bottle is so pretty as well. So you cannot really go wrong with Zara these days. I am really in love with the whole new collection all of them beautiful okay next we have amber tuberose fragrance and that is rouge malachite by armani and sometimes i do have a problem with sage in here as i mentioned before but in general this is a beautiful beautiful herbally amber tuberose it's so so nice i know this is a staple in so many collections of yours so many of you love it it has very nice lasting power. It's hella expensive, but pretty much it is worth it, I can say. So that is Rouge Malakite by Armani. Um, yeah, I, I really do enjoy it. And if you love that, you know, floral, like tuberose, very deep and very like, I don't want to say indolic because it's not, but it's like prominent. It's just a very, very prominent tuberose with amber. It's beautiful. Okay, now I want to just quickly mention before I go into those two last fragrances, I want to quickly mention something that I wish it was still in stores. I do have my bottle in South Africa and I miss it so much. I actually by mistake didn't get it, um, didn't put it in my suitcase. So it's a bummer, but that is Alien Essence Absolute by Mugler is discontinued, but if you still do have it, this is to me one of the most beautiful amber vanillas ever. It has mirror to it, still slight of that alien DNA, one of the most beautiful for sure. 
and yeah I just wanted to quickly mention it because you know it's very hard to get uh, I don't know if we will be ever able to get it so it's a massive bummer but that was a beautiful beautiful amber and lastly I have two fragrances both by Orientica which I just recently discovered and since I got them I am obsessed like really obsessed first one is Royal Amber and this is your deep but fruity amber mm. if you love fragrances like Herba Pura by Zerzhov you're gonna love this um, a while ago when I started my channel I did purchase Alha Romaine Amber Oud Gold no something like that how do they how are they called the gold edition of oud fragrances i'm gonna insert a picture and i hated it it was so like strong and screechy and like burnt tire like it was too too strong this one is such a nice blend this one is smoother sweeter is not as harsh is not as like powerful in your face it's still very strong and potent and long lasting but it's just not it's just not gonna kill you so yes if you love a combination of a fruity amber quite oriental undertones but still like on that fruity spectrum it is quite high you're gonna love this it is very very pretty and definitely unisex but because of that fruity aspect it's so nice and sweet i think it leans feminine so that is royal amber and the bottle guys insane insane bottle it is metal not plastic so wow and last but not least normally i would probably include here as this is the amber focused video um baccarat rouge it doesn't have amber per se i think it has amber wood if i'm not mistaken i would normally include it but orientica has such a great alternative to it so if you love that you know scent profile you're gonna love this one too and that is amber rouge this to me is more so the extrait it is beautiful so beautiful it's insane you have um that very dense sweet ambery burnt sugar kind of dna glorious this is glorious this is definitely my favorite out of the all orientica fragrances the bottle is magnificent so you know you don't have to compromise on the presentation because you're still getting something very very pretty and the price is so, just so much better even though you know i love the original but i just want to recommend to you something that is a little bit cheaper so that is amber rouge by orientica fantastic longevity and projection so you cannot go wrong with these and that is it my lovelies i hope you enjoyed it i personally love amber tell me which one of amber fragrances are your favorite and that is it for now don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next one bye